In this video, I treat a cow who had a huge nail pulled out of her painful foot and deal with the problems it had created. This is the Hoof GP. Good morning and welcome to the Hoof GP. Yeah, it's me, Craigie Boy. And it's Kev in the background there. So Graham is away to Florida. He's away overseas seeing you guys in America, away at the hoof trimming convention. And it's just me and Kevin trimming today at this farm. So we're hoping to see this cow that we saw the last time we were at this farm. Let's hope the farmer remembered to put her out for us and let's see if she's got better since the last time we were there. If you can remember, she had this big massive nail sticking out of her foot. So let's crack on, get to the farm and see how it goes. Let's get set up and get the cows in. I don't want to be without you. This is something that I know for sure. It's just something about you. Right, that's the crush all set up. Now Kev's going to get the cows in for us. So first cow in the crush, shall we begin? Now the feet here are actually really good. There's not a lot that really needs done. They just need a little trim off the toes, maybe a little height reduction, and a little modeling out. They're pretty good here. There's not much to do, so you'll see us pretty much quickly getting through these cows. You know, I've got a serious case of dry mouth. Kev? Yeah? Fancy making coffee? Okay. Nice one. I'll be great for today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Craig first, the most important one. I think there's some left for Graham coming home. I think that's better than yours, Craig. I don't know if you can get much better than mine did. I like it strong, but not too strong, okay? A wee bit there. Yeah, I'll pay for it. <laughs> A wee bit there. I'll do it. Thank you very much. Problem enjoy. Spot on. I wouldn't agree I would like to some biscuits to get on with when we go here. Thanks, Kev. No problem. Cheers. So this is kind of four for <laughs> She's not gonna stand still for me. This is cow 439. So she is the one that had the big, massive nails sticking out of her foot the last time me and Graham were at this farm. So after Graham pulled out the big, massive nail. Like I say, I'm hoping it's just that. <gasps> oh yeah. <gasps> He modelled out the cow's foot and you could see this massive kind of mushroom on the cow's foot. Use the back of my knife to push that bit of tissue out of the way. Hey, it looks like this whole piece of hoof horn is detached. Wow. <laughs> well, that has never ever happened to me in my entire hoof trimming career. We had never seen anything like that before. So we're gonna get her back in the crush and see how she's progressed from that last trim. I'm hoping it's all better now, or at least close to it. 
Let's get him across the sea. Come on, girl. Put it back. Uh, dirty. <laughs> Did you get that on camera? <laughs> I'll just wait till she finishes. <laughs> so I'll give it a little wash. Just see where we're at. Trying not to disturb that big massive mushroom cloud right in the middle there. It looks pretty good. Yeah, this block will have to be replaced. If you can see, it's sliding in the way, down at the toe here. So it's not straight anymore, it's not level. So we definitely need to sort that out and put a new block on. But this, this looks pretty awesome. If you can remember, this was sticking right out here. So it's reduced a lot more than what it was before. If you remember, the nail was sticking right into this. So I believe that, I don't know what Graham was thinking, but I was thinking that the rust and obviously the penetration of the nail is what's caused this massive sole ulcer right in here. So all I'm gonna do is really take away some of this raggedy horn that's probably irritating it a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much and replace this block. So I'll just take away these little bits of hoof horn that might be squeezing on it. I'm trying so hard not to irritate it. It is so hard when you're this close to the corium and to a massive sole also at this size to not nick it. Tiny little nicks just to relieve pressure. See my knife skipping a little bit just because I'm so nervous about trying to not affect the cow in any way. Or affect the healing, I should say. Now I'm going to replace this block. Okay, that's definitely not coming off. So I'm going to have to do it with the grinder. Good glue. I wonder who made this. I really don't want to reduce this too much, so, because the cow, because she wasn't in that long ago. I like to put a little scratch in it just to help the block, the glue even, stick to the hoof better. I'll get my colleague Kevin to put a block on. Look at that green goodness. Whoever made this glue must be proud of themselves. Thanks Kev. No problem. So there's really not much more I can do to this. It needs a little more time, a little more time to heal. But if you come right close, see it how far under that goes. That's why I was trying my hardest not to hurt her, but at the same time, relieve some of that pressure on this sole ulcer, which is basically inflamed corium. So that is how really, really pernickety is the word I'm looking for. You have to be. Now I'm not gonna keep poking at it because that's obviously a very sore point for her. What can I say? She's on the way to healing. So 
That's awesome. I'm glad to see that it's getting better. Now let's let her go. Spray it with a little bit of iodine. And get on with the rest of the cows. So I would say that was a success. Success? Yeah. That's a success. I can't get that word out. That was a success. I'm very happy with that. And I think Graham will be too. Anyway, let's get on with the rest of these cows. We could run, run away. You and me together, baby, we don't gotta stay. Let's lose, lose our minds. We could go crazy and leave it all behind. That's all done for the day. Me and Kev are gonna get packed up, get out of here, and head on home. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. So, for me, Kev, to the guy holding the camera, till next time, guys, catch us later.